Hi everyone, Aura here, and with me I have my co-host Ben. We are back with us on another episode of To Be Quite Honest, the podcast. We're so happy to be here today, guys. Um, with us, we have a very special guest. But before I get into it, I'm just trying to hi guys. Doing? How have you been? What's been going on with your training? You know, what's going on? Ben, what's going on with you? Well, I'm doing great. Um, the rain is here. Does it normally rain like in this season? It's so weird though. Well, I think we're already at the start of the rainy season, so uh, I think so it's, it's not climate fair change. to expect it. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I guess. Anyways, so let's not talk about the weather too much. Yeah, the big reveal. The big, in fact, we have a very, <laughs> our guest is very special. I want to just say like, you know how now there's a huge culture of like celebrity influencing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everyone's like, oh, lifestyles are rich and famous. Mm -hmm. And it's been on for years, you know, like growing up, everyone's like, oh, Sweet 16, mm -hmm. MTV Cribs, such a big deal. So we have with us a very special, in fact, you know what? This guest is literally the best that we could have found for this exactly. topic because <laughs> it's heavyweight. Very, very heavyweight. And if you grew up watching MTV Cribs, I mean, you just have to stay tuned. Cause yeah, this is an episode of interest. This is, this is MTV Cribs, Nigeria. Nigeria, <laughs> I'm not even joking. You need to stay tuned. Yeah. With us, we have a very special guest. I've said it like seven times, but it's very, very, very special. Akose, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you so tell much. us about yourself. I've been hyping you since the fall. <laughs> you was like a very heavy intro. Okay, my name is Akose Enibili. I'm an architect. Um, I'm the founder and lead architect at Elag Designs Limited. Elag Designs Limited is an architectural firm. Uh, we design and build houses, homes um, across Nigeria and even outside of Nigeria, actually. So, yeah, Ooh. we've done quite a number of notable projects around Nigeria as well. Now, the reason why Akose is here, as in the, I mean, because, you know, I'm sure you're thinking the architects in Lagos, so I hear <laughs> He did Bonaboy's house. Let me just say. For that. real. He the did one that. That, you know, what I found so interesting <laughs> was when I saw the architectural digest feature, I said, ah, mm -hmm. I know this person. <laughs> this is my guy. <laughs> and I was like so excited because I read, you know, I read the article that accompanied the photos and it looked so great. And I was like, we have to get you on the podcast. There's no bigger celebrity right now. There's nothing that coincides perfectly for, for this topic. So mm -hmm. I was like, we definitely have to get you on board. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure to be here. But Julia. now you need to give us, you know, bits this. Yes. So, yeah. so I know behind every, the scenes. <laughs> not mine, I was to give us behind the scenes. Just, mm -hmm. I want us to just walk through the process. So what's it like? like? And I know that's not your first celebrity home. You also no, no, did. No. I'm Judy Gallo. Yes. Yeah, former so Manchester United. Footballer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's my so, club, man. So this is personal. Now. This is <laughs> my So now. I'm really, yeah. I'm, I'm like super excited to hear what like process is like. So I know you did Jude's first. So let's mm -hmm. talk about that. Then we'll come to Bernard's house. How do I start this? So the very um, <laughs> Okay. Jude's, I think mm -hmm. I, I have an idea. I think yeah. we should backtrack. Okay. Mm. First of all, how did you get into, into designing mm. celebrity houses? <sighs> yes. That's when I asked him how I got into architecture. That's really tough. Um, architecture, I, I keep telling the architecture chose me because I've been mm. drawing houses since I was like two, three years old. Oh, wow. yes. Yeah. Interesting parts I actually have, I still have some of the drawings. My father kept them for me. Oh, is he an architect as well? No, I just started drawing then. I don't know how I just started liking houses. I was always drawing houses. The best way I could interpret them then was just, you know, you scribble, you draw, you put car Aww. here, you put a room here, you put a bed here, just... So, like, you from know, how old? Did you start from drawing houses yeah. on sand and then later on? on no, like, I had them books. on paper, like, oh, okay, if, if, okay. I, if I knew, I'd have brought them to show you. <laughs> I, I, I would have drawing, like, that. since I was, like, three years old, two years old, thereabouts, wow. and I still have those drawings to date. So, wow. um, I mean, a lot, a lot of us went through that thing, that when you're in, like, SS3, you're like, mm -hmm. ah, okay, you're going to university, now. what do you want what to you study? Want to yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, it wasn't, like, there weren't many options for me, because, like, ah, architecture, architecture, ah, so it was Aki or Aki? No, no, or exactly. nothing. I'm or not nothing. even drinking. Yeah. Or nothing. So uh, what I others had, like, you know, in secondary school, people had diaries filled with poems. Oh. <laughs> Yours was filled with drawings. Drawings. So houses drawings, and stuff. Drawings, oh, drawings. Drawings. Interesting. Drawings. So, yeah. That so you, where, did you, where did you study architecture? I studied in the University of Lagos. In oh, Lagos, okay. yeah. Yeah, in Lagos, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now tell us, Igalu was your first celebrity... Um, oh, I don't know. The way it's rolling is like it has more, but I don't want to no, talk. No, no. <laughs> you signed it. I would it actually. That's why they said you should tell us. But it's okay, tell see, us. You you can't mention names all the time. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But, uh, we'll yeah he was. List, so. Yeah, he was the first. Yes, he was the first. It was a a senior colleague of mine that just called me and he's like, "Oh, there's this um potential client." So. Uh, I, I don't watch soccer. That sounds okay. crazy. Yeah, well, I don't. Okay. So Some when they mentioned Judy Gallo, I was just like, "Okay, all right." Okay. And I mean, okay, another client, all right. And then he referred me to um, a gallows representative at the time. Okay. So I went, met up with him, and he gave me the brief. And uh, the first thing, I was like, four guest bedrooms. 
I've, I've wow. never, yeah, yeah, that, just to say wow. how, yeah, the house is massive. Like, the brief did not sound realistic to me, but I'm like, you know, like you said, celeb living, it's not regular it's, it's stuff. Di- it's different, mm-hmm. right? It's, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. totally mm-hmm. different. On average, like, so, when you say four guest rooms, normal houses have one. Yeah, it's, most people yeah. have, yeah, if they yeah. have. If they have, because, like, so you're typically, when you even hear about houses, you have three bedrooms, three right? Bedrooms, okay, max. four sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So, when you have four bedrooms, maybe one bedroom is a uh, guest room, okay, one, one guest room, is a master, master, and the other two kids. maybe male, female, female kids. Yeah, yeah, kids, if you have um, both genders. So, that's typically it. So, when you not have for like you said, room. someone's whole house is where you're using to start like guest bedroom wow. for wow. guest bedroom. So wow. it was quite a massive, 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 massive house. You know, had an indoor pool, outdoor pool. Oh. Inside is Lagos. Yeah, it's inside it's this Lagos. One percent so. of one percent. <laughs> you know, you know. One percent of one percent living for real. <laughs> I I don't wonder why. Ni- I mean, I don't know. It's so weird. I would you would assume like Nigerians would really because you know we're really on this wave. Like we have the old reality TV. Mm-hmm. We're really getting mm-hmm. obsessed with the culture. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering if it's called like evil eye or if it's just like we're not there yet mm. where celebrities are going to like open their homes and let people come and see yeah, all their things, you know. Yeah. You I, would I have feel like that. we'll get there eventually. You um, think so? Yeah, um, at some point, I don't remember when. Um, a few years back, I heard about someone, I don't know what which organization, I was doing some open house thing where they would take it to some houses. And of you course, you still have to be careful. So it would be some select few. So maybe it can't be open to the public. Yeah. You really we, do, we, do, we, do, we actually do have like open house. Yeah, I've not heard about it. Oh, okay, you have that. We, we don't have yeah, some yeah, now. Sure I know do. we have we have a couple of open house Almost events. every quarter we... We, we, yeah, yeah, we have an, we have a couple of open houses. We show you our show homes. We mm-hmm. take it to like some people's houses to mm-hmm. show you like, oh, this mm-hmm. how they've put it up, that mm-hmm. sort of thing. Mm-hmm. So and you know, but that too is different because it's the, the you don't know the is... owner of the house. Okay, fair. Uh, oh yeah, that's yeah. Right. You know, we are very culture wise. We are Afraid. very. I don't want to say secretive. But well, we have that thing where you just don't want to. You have to cover your yam mm-hmm. before they mm-hmm. put their hands inside. Mm-hmm. You have to be you know, careful. You know, yeah. you know how these things go. So yeah, a lot of people would not be too open to it. Like maybe they will be open to if you don't tell who the owner of the house is. Like you just go, oh, this is a big house, a beautiful house, but you don't know it's owned by X Y Z or. Some of this the purpose, no? And you might know afterwards. They tell you before you might. Yeah. Not start. You not start yeah. over you know, there. Okay, okay. okay. Paparazzi might be all over the place. Fair and enough. I mean, I guess mm-hmm. it works out like that. So tell us what are the kind of things we when you do celebrity houses before you take us through like what the experience was with Jude. Mm-hmm. What are the kind of things like you usually have? You said four guest rooms. Is mm-hmm. it just like a size issue? Are there actual elements that, you know? Yes, yeah, so it's, um, how do I put it? It's not tied to one person. Okay. It, like each celebrity, let me use celebrity, each person I've designed a home for mm-hmm. is a process for that person. Okay. okay. Right? Okay, so let's start with Jude. He had a dream um, as a child. He really wanted his house to be like big, like crazy big. Okay. It was a dream come true to build that house that was his own i don't could i call it a mission a dream, or, or a dream you know it was something that he had had in his mind i'm sure he had a picture in his mind like look i want my house to be massive you know i want my house to be massive so um when we're discussing with him it was a lot of um he wants it to be big he wants space and that is one item i can cut across all the celebrities that have done for is space yeah. you know because of their lifestyle they want to represent themselves sort of so you don't want to walk into a celebrity house and you're just saying his living room is two by two three mm-hmm. by six mm-hmm. like okay. what you see everywhere yeah. no for example okay. i don't know if you have um an idea of size one of the living rooms in igalo's house is about eight meters high eight or eight oh. eight eight meters so this floor to ceiling is about 2.7 there about not the third so it's like four times the height well, yeah of this wow. And that's was, just... Is the house a bungalow up and down? No, Igalo's house is a bungalow. Can't no, I'm asking, you know, because it could be like a sprawling, it like... It can be a bungalow. It could be a okay, sprawling I know what you're talking about. It's so high. But those are like mountain, <laughs> mountain uh, like, you know, like, because, you know, it's a, it's a dream home, right? Yeah, so I'm assuming, yeah. like, you can do maybe a crib like and then yeah, yeah, you spread yeah, yeah. it. No, no, we don't really no. do that Because So, so why, why so high? Yeah. So if it's eight, is it the one on top, like the decking on no, the so top? No, so let me put it this way. That's why I said it was just his living room. So... That living room is a double volume. So the next space you have is still regular height, height. and then another yeah. height on top. On top but the okay. living room itself, itself goes is floor to all the way to like roof or ceiling level. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so from mm-hmm. from my experience in, you know, um, with houses, mm-hmm. um, luxury is synonymous with space. Mm-hmm. So you can't talk oh, about okay. a luxury house without um, yeah. high ceilings, spacious bedrooms. I'm very happy you're saying spacious. this because when you see a lot of ads on Instagram, you're saying, yeah, 
ultra luxury and you're just seeing that from the front you and know, seeing the back of the you house. Know. <laughs> you know, so. Or you just raise your hand and, and you can almost touch the ceiling. You know, you know I, I, I feel like that's so weird because we're moving a lot of people are moving like minimalist living as well so the lot of celebrities are also ab- ab- embracing like minimal lifestyles you know even minimalism right it still doesn't reduce your space your when you space. say minimalism yeah, yeah, yeah. it might be in your things. furniture exactly it okay. might be in your decor, decor your style, your style. Yeah. It, it, you have not seen minimalist be space because mm-hmm. you need that space you need this you know, space, space okay, is, so, so that's definitely yeah the space is so that's a, definitely like a, given. a common Oh yeah, like it's a given. Running it's a thread given. across all mm-hmm, the homes. Mm-hmm. What what else? What else? Okay, so um, then I'll go back to the individual. Okay. okay. So space is like given. normal given, yeah. right? Then the individual now comes in and is like, okay, I want this, I want this, I want that. So let me give you an instance. Are like, they unrealistic um, asks? So uh, for me, I don't consider it unrealistic. I find these things as um, challenges. Okay. They are interesting. So um, in architecture, there's a phrase that says form follows function okay. what that means is the the, the shape or this the form of this space mm-hmm. um follows what it should be used for that's the okay. function okay right so um there's another addition to it so it says form follows function follows finance okay mm-hmm. so okay. what that means is um you, thank Excellent. you you know thank you thank you you okay 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 okay, 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 okay. not to go down no, that route okay, okay, but okay, that's, what it is. that's exactly okay. what it is so if you All tell right. me oh i want a uh, I want a 16 bedroom house. I want you gotta have the money. You be writing you gotta have you know, you're money. not going to think my budget is 500 k It cannot work. What, what, what are we saying? Are we here for games? Are you, <laughs> okay, are you, okay, I, do you understand? Okay. So, yeah, um, I call them challenges because um, I see them as interesting tasks. So, um, for Brenner Zone, for example, um, I think that whole, um, you know, he's a Port Harcourt boy. Okay. That whole rivers thing, he likes the water and all that stuff. Okay. So, we designed his main living room. There's a massive, massive sheet of glass, right? Overlooking the pool. Okay. Right. Then he says he wants the house and the pool to be more or less like one. Wow. Yeah. So we ha- we created an illusion. His living room cantilevers over the pool. Okay. okay. Right. So when you see the house from afar, and we played with lighting elements, and uh, you have lights like shooting under the house, so the house is like kind of floating over the pool, oh, a okay. portion of it. Oh. So when you stand in front of that large glass in front of the pool, it's almost like you're over the pool, almost oh, you're yes. inside the pool, but yeah. you're inside you're the house. house. You're not. Yeah. Oh, okay. You oh. understand? So um, it's another thing that um, we always incorporate in our designs. Um, I'm a big fan of building inside out, outside in. So there's visual continuity. Mm-hmm. You just don't have a house that um, you put the house on the plot. No, the plot is also part, part of, of the, the house. house. So okay. the boundary of your plot um, is part of the incorporation into the building. So it's not um, you put two parking dots here, then you just drop mm-hmm. the house here, and then you have one sand pit here, you know, just putting things all over the place. So I feel like, you know, the, the, I, so I'm not trying to find out, is this like a celeb thing? Or even with just like regular people trying to do houses, I couldn't even suggest them, like, look, don't just do regular two parks, two cars in front, two yeah. cars at the side. So um, Let's I'm, one, play of, around yeah, the I'm one of those people that want to always push boundaries. The, the boundary, push the limits, because okay. um, um, most times when I want to, and back on a design i want to have just sit down like heart to heart like to my, to my clients mm. we just have a conversation not necessarily about the house but just about the person just about the person that helps me um it guides me in my design because okay. i now know the person like we just speak but sitting casually you've told me oh i want a six bedroom house i want this i want that and i'm like oh sure sure and we start talking oh you tell me about your experiences you tell me about this this that that and I'm just picking a few things that sort of you know tells me about your person, person yeah. and I think about how to incorporate that into your home or your house that we're designing. Okay. So and of course most times when people come to you that they want to design a house, they have something in mind mm-hmm. they've seen somewhere. Yeah, everything is ide- is all about ideas, design, and all that. But um, within reason, you know, okay. so it has to be reason. We I'll try to advise that look. Okay, for example, you want to build your house. Let me think of some. Think of. I'm trying to think of something ridiculous. You just want to put your pool on top of your roof just because. Okay. You don't have a fundamental reason. Yeah. I, I, I hear you. Oh, that's what you want. That's what you really want. No doubt. I'm not going to stop you from getting what you want. But by the time we have a conversation and I let you understand that really, if you're going to put a pool on the roof, because of X, Y, Z or A, B, C factors, it could be environmental factors. It could just be the area. It could be how it doesn't flow with the design or the mm-hmm. idea we're working with. Okay. You'll be don't be like, okay, I see. Now nah, let's, yeah. let's not put the oh, pool okay. on the roof anymore. Do you understand? Oh, yeah, so fine. I guide 
um, the clients through the design. It's a process. It's not just, oh, go and design it for bedroom house. I'm sure, back. I got you. And oh, okay. You, we go our separate ways. No, it doesn't work so, that way. So um, I'm trying to understand, mm -hmm. you know, the process you go through from mm -hmm. conceiving the idea mm -hmm. all the way so. to, like, finally executing it. Mm -hmm. so, it's, so first of all, you have that meeting with them. Mm -hmm. um, can that meeting happen via a proxy? Or many oh. times you really like to be with them, to hear them out, understand what their inspirations are and all of that. Well, the proxy happens. Sometimes some people have their representatives because of their schedules or whatever, yeah, okay. right? Yeah. But in most cases, I still want, want to, to meet them. the person. I end up meeting the person. I haven't designed for anybody that I didn't interact with totally. Okay. okay. Even if you're awake, I mean, the Zoom. world we're in Zoom, uh, sure, sure. Yeah, okay. virtual okay. meetings and all that, we just have a come. It could be 30 minutes. Okay. And I, I hear what I want to hear, and I know, okay, this is what I'm going to translate into your design, and then okay. we run with it. So after the first meeting mm -hmm. where you guys sort of share ideas, mm -hmm. you know, this mm -hmm. is what I want to do, and mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. you chip in a thing or two, mm -hmm. what are the next two, three, four steps? Oh, yeah, then after that, it's the initial concept. Like, it's just like a sketch. Okay. 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 Then walk you through that sketch. Okay, so this is what we're working with. When you walk into the house, this is what you're going to experience. I design with experiences, I, I I like the experience. I, experience is what mm -hmm. I go for because okay. you just don't want to go to a house like oh okay, okay I went to nice. this house. No, yeah. you experience the house. Okay, so now yeah. I want to ask a mm -hmm. question. Like you did, Bernard. What is mm -hmm. the experience when someone walks in? Well, when you walk into his house, it gives an illusion that um it's a small house. Oh. Yeah, it gives an illusion like this. But when you walk into the first space, so when you, when you move to the next space because it's an open so yeah. that was something we worked with um the individual that's born as a person he's such an open person mm. like he's an open person like he's really an open person so mm. you walk into this space and you're in the ante room first you know just gives you an illusion that okay you're just in this nice cozy yeah. house <laughs> once you leave that space it's Mark an experience oh, okay because the first thing you see is there's a glass door that um shows you his garage I'm sure oh. you know some of his cars. So some if you're a car, if I, if I car fanatic, you, you, you're like, oh, wow. Blown away then by the time you turn, you now see the main living space. Like I mentioned, the living space sprawls through the glass mm -hmm. to, the, to pool, the pool, to the garden. There's a sunken lounge. There's a garden. So you just stand there. You're just seeing this visual content. It's almost like it's endless. You have the sitting in front of you. You have the pool. You have the sunken lounge. You have the garden. It's just a whole experience. Then you have a, a secondary lounge where you have... Um, we have old records. This is vinyl oh, okay. records just plastered the wall. Yeah, that's what I saw the picture. Yeah, so when you see all that, then there's um, a bar that is like an aquarium. So you see all that. It's 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 interesting. It's it's really really interesting. Of course, you have high ceiling. On this oh no, I loved it. <clears throat> I really loved it because they're trying to push the envelope. Oh, we want this one. That we want this one. And I'm like, okay. You're talking to the right person. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 yeah. very interesting. Um, mm -hmm. minus like the big celebs now. I'm talking mm -hmm. about like. People that live normal lives but mm -hmm. are aspirational. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What 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 are the things they can do to achieve sort of celeb life living in their home spaces? Okay, um, I'll say two things. Only. Yeah. Go again. <laughs> I don't say go and make no, more no, money. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear go and make more money. I'm not a financial shaming person, but okay. I was going to say. I'll go back to the form follows function. Function follows. follows. That's why I said don't go and say yeah, never money. No, see, we must. You can't tell want to okay, build a house. What I mean money. is within all budgets now. So I feel like there's some things that, mm -hmm. like you know, you said space, but I'm mm -hmm. saying I've already rented the house. Okay, so mm. I've already rented can I the talk house. About a rented house. So you rented like, um, and okay. So um, how can I jazz it up? How can I give myself a little? Okay, so little. I think it might not apply as much for rented houses. Yeah, because like I was going to say that you're already houses. limited. You're already limited. Yeah. Because yeah. So even your limitation. Maybe no, 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 no. I can, I can help mm -hmm. to. Sort you, of let, reshape you, let, her question. Wait, let me hear. Let me hear. Let me hear. Yes, I've been mean, that celebrity house. Why do you want to? <laughs> why? You, I know what I'm asking. You want to? The person I asked you answer. You want to help? Okay, let me yeah, try. Let me try. Tell me if I'm correct me if I'm wrong. So mm. I think what she's trying to say is, there are certain elements that mm -hmm. come into you know celebrity houses. Mm -hmm. um, that might not exactly cost a lot of money, mm -hmm. but regular people can incorporate those features into, into, their, into their own, own houses. You tried, you tried, you tried. So she's now saying, mm -hmm. for Tell us me. who are on that level, for people who are on that level, what are, what, what one, we, two, what are those yeah. things that yeah. we can do? Okay, yeah. so um, top two things, lights and ventilation. Natural light, natural ventilation. So um, a lot of people don't pay attention to those things, right? But they are key things because um so let me use natural light for example with natural light you already reduce your cost on electricity yeah mm. yeah because you know if if you have a house that is properly lit naturally why are you putting artificial light till it's dark yeah 
until mm. it's dark, there's no need to put an artificial light. Yeah, I learned that a while ago, I learned a while ago that um, a house with grey lighting mm. uh, is a house where you can go into it during the day without mm. any light being on. Oh yeah, and everywhere still looks good. Yeah, really? you can take pictures seen, and still let me looks use, good. Um, since you've seen the video of Bernard's house, if you watch the video, I don't think they had many artificial lights on. Mm. They just shot the TV because it's natural light it. is. Okay. Wow. But now your house developer has put a little square. I said, I mean, do I go and get natural light from that? Yeah, it's one of two things. Either you leave the house you or break, you open, you, you you open, open up break your wall, wall you make it into yeah, a window. That's it. So I think the so, other challenge with applying that for you know people who are not exactly celebrities mm -hmm. is the security problem. I was going to say, yeah. that's how I open and do natural light. <laughs> <laughs> My night okay. visitors will come and visit so, me. So um, I, don't, I don't know how to put this, but all the um, celebrities I have um, designed houses for or built mm -hmm. houses for, all live in gated estates. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so with that in mind, that already gives you some gives liberty. Gives you some that, liberty to um, Unfortunately, if you're going to build in some unsafe areas, uh, yeah. I can't call names of areas, but yeah. let's call, let's say unsafe areas, you, you, you wouldn't want to put as much... Um, Access. Um, windows. Wind and, sorry, large windows, not as much, large windows, because the larger the window, the larger the security bar you have to put exactly, behind, like yeah. bubble proofing yeah, or okay. yeah. security shutter, all of yeah. that. And most times, um, some of those um, elements deface it. True. When you see maybe um, like this space, this whole wall is glass. You have a view behind it or something, yeah. right? It's interesting that you can just see you walk there, there you're lost no in your thought. But no yeah. when you now have bubble <laughs> bars, yeah. You know what's it kills, interesting? It kills it. I remember growing up, we had like a sliding door, but we mm -hmm. had this bug light that is like that accordion. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Was, yeah, they don't do that anymore. Right? Yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't I know. Feel like there's so many I don't elements want to say they don't do it anymore, it, but I haven't it seen it in recent times. Yeah, you know, those, and they're not too bad because they have like a little diamond shape when yeah, you pull just, them out. Yeah, so the thing is, um, what, what you're saying is taking my head to another space because um, the way we are evolving with designs, um, mm -hmm. a lot of things are being left behind. I was going to get to that. Yeah. So I'm glad that, you brought that's, that up. Um, I don't, what is it called? I really Bob don't Larry know what Bob. that... I have closed the bug yeah, yeah. yeah, it's nice because you slide it and it just like sort of collapses exactly. to one corner yeah, and, and then to the other end. The, and you have your glass you have your all day. Glass all day. Then you pull night, it out pull at it night. Close. We don't really have that much anymore. This is always um, um, iron bars. And they're and so they're, ugly. Yeah, and most mm -hmm. times they're actually fixed. It's not a case yeah, where so you can't, collapse it. They literally just have one little that. rectangle for it to open and enter, and then you close it. You know, so it's, it's tough. I don't know What's why... What's the reason? Yeah, the designer, yeah, tell yeah, us why. So, I'm the designer. It doesn't mean I designed that particular. No, no, no. What I mean is, I feel yeah. like you guys, senior colleagues, mm -hmm. you know, are talking to yourselves. So I like, know mm -hmm. advising your customers. That. I'm happy you asked that too, because a lot of times they blame the designer or the architect. They well, forget that the end user plays a major role. Okay. So I've told you that break this wall, make it all glass, you give you a fantastic view, right? Mm -hmm. We've gone ahead. You're like, fantastic, let's do it. We've done it. And you're like, great. But you start feeling like, nah, let me get bug after I've delivered your project. No, see, I'm you go there safe. and you put bug labels. I'm not gonna come to your house this time be like, you know, yeah, yeah, what what you're doing is wrong. Take it. <laughs> no way. No, you are the well, end user, no so way. you still have a major I cannot override everything sure. you say. Yeah. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, I will advise you within reason that look, don't put burglar bars here because this is what we're trying to achieve. It'll be nice for you, be this, be that, that, that. Okay. Whatever reason we have behind that decision. Okay. And you buy into you're like, oh sure thing. But maybe afterwards you personal it's not like there's anything wrong with the design. It's you just, just feel like feeling, you know what mm. let me just there's always a human factor. True. Always Okay, I'm gonna talk about one mm -hmm. more thing when mm -hmm. it comes to like celeb living. I know, mm -hmm. like in the US, everyone's like in Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. or like maybe they're posted up in Miami, in mm -hmm. Lagos, everyone is on the island. Why? And I ask this because I would assume, like, if you're a celebrity, you want some sort of privacy, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you want to be like a GRE, mm -hmm. you want somewhere away, you want to be in a papa so you can get do like you have your boat, mm -hmm. have your mm -hmm. beach. Mm -hmm. But I find everybody's moving to Lake here and they're just like moving down Lake Cape Bay Corridor. What's the reason? Um, I, uh, this is personal, personal by the way, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I feel like um, there's this idea that Lekki is the place to live. Mm. Yes. Because With no roads and brown water and all of those dear, challenges. That is why I don't understand. I don't live in Lekki. I don't live on the island. I live on the mainland. And I don't see myself living on the island or in Lekki anytime soon. Okay. Because personally, I think... I could um, say one, Lekki is zero. But yeah, no, no, I think Lekki is a ticking time bomb. <laughs> I don't feel like the urban planning yeah, is... So let there's no infrastructure. That's where I was going to. Yeah. yeah. From um, what's the target? The VI target by um, the, the target Oriental by, one. by Oriental. Uh -huh. From there all the way to Ikati. Ikati. 
uh, let me see, Lekki Free Trade Zone is one road. It's yeah. absolute madness. Honestly. Think about it. It's just that Lekki Pear Express Road all the way. I Even if like you say, oh, they've done some um, bypass, some, where does it bring you back to? It brings you back to, to that main express. Road, yeah. I say this a lot that if you um, use, I don't know if you've driven into Lagos ever but you know when you come into from the express uh-huh. expressway you have the express that goes that links third milan yeah, and all yeah. that so when you come in the first thing you see is the beggar um, yeah uh, the beggar uh-huh. beggar to the left is um what's it called um, uh, no no that's only um, phase two olora yeah. yes that's what I mean. olora is to the left uh-huh. and um ojodu beggar ojodu oh, is to the right, to the right yeah. Yeah. that's and you have this um turn that turn off yeah, you, you go off turn, you and can't when you turn off where do you go to it separates um um area, area yeah. and all yeah, that okay. stuff you keep going the next you see is alausa to your right and then maybe uh magodo phase two to your to left. left yes you just Keep going down, and you enter a different. And you come down, um, to the right. Okay, next I hear you. Seven up, uh, free. Okay. Fam, from Lekki Ekpe Express, when you approach VGC, you turn right and you inside someone's estate. <laughs> I kid you not. The Kota Estate is off the express. Yeah. It's yeah. literally it, off it the is, express. Off and then the we way. keep asking ourselves, why do we have traffic in the exit? That is why we have traffic. We have one road that is seven as the main road, seven as the secondary road. Mm. I, I use the Alaus as example. You're on uh, Lagos Ibadan Express, we're heading towards Third Milan. Mm. You veer off mm-hmm. towards Alausa. There's mm-hmm. a secondary road near uh, MK or MK Biola, Garden. Garden. Yes. That road is parallel to the Express. It is. You veer off that road, you get into Agadim B and the likes. Mm-hmm. You keep veering off. So it's like saying you have primary, you have secondary, secondary. tertiary. You keep yeah. going, scaling down to you get to streets. So from yeah. the main road up down to, you know, Acme, let's call it pedestrian link. access. Okay. But um, Lake Yekbe, from Lake Yekbe, you just it's, turn into people's houses. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's poor planning. Yeah, well, it's well, poor, well, yeah, poor planning. <laughs> it is. It's poor planning. So um, I feel like um, a lot of people just move there because they feel like Lake is the rave, Lake is popping. But it, it doesn't, it, it's not popping. There's, there's a lot that to needs you. to be. If he's talking to you, that's fine. It's I mean, to you. No, I'm not saying like, I've well, pointed like, out why it's not popping. I've, I've pointed out why it's no, not popping. No, but I guess so, if you have like a chopper, like you're not going to sit in traffic. All right. Where will you land? <laughs> on your, your rooftop. I don't want to design this house. If I say build house for me and I want to land on top of my house, won't you build it? So what if by legal standards, I cannot, they cannot approve helicopter landing. You know, there. You're going, going to go, fly over electric cables to land it. You want to die? Tell you, I was not going to tell you like, so when we finish from, mm-hmm. why is everybody in Lekki? Let's mm-hmm. talk about approvals. Mm-hmm. What, what what do you need? if you want to like you know celebrity approvals because mm-hmm. I know you said they do like a little crazy thing mm-hmm. they ask for things that are outrageous mm-hmm. not the outrageous but mm-hmm. let's say push the boundaries a bit mm-hmm. how have you been able to navigate approval processes uh, yes yeah, so put it within reason so for example um around Lagos most times um you're set back from the front of the house is six meters some mm-hmm. nine meters sometimes but let's say six to nine meters oh, okay. and the site and the back is mostly three meters. Yeah, once you can fit everything within those setbacks mm-hmm. and then yeah, you yeah. fit it within the height limitations of that area, even if you put 16 bedrooms inside the house, That's your so business. long as, I mean, of course, you're not making the, the 16 bedrooms one meter by one meter. Okay. So, yeah, it fits within that, you'll be good. Oh, okay. so, of course, make um, them cross ventilated and whatnot, yes. So, what's like a, a, a notable, you know, design challenge you had to walk around, you know, when working with a celebrity? Um, oh yeah, this is common. They tell you today they want it yesterday. <laughs> well, uh, yes, uh, they, I mean, you know, it's the thing of money speaking. I was going to say, a lot of them, I hope this doesn't sound like an insult, but a lot of them don't understand that some things, things take, take time. time. That doesn't well, insult, right? No, no but if you're a celebrity, yeah. you're used to everything now, now. Yeah. yeah. So if you have to wait, it's uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. It's something you can't see why. Yeah, and especially. So, when you say, okay, let's say a house is going to cost you one million, right? Mm. This is somebody that has 200 million in his account. And it's like, but I have the one million. So why, why am yeah. I not why seeing my house? house like, already, what, yeah. You understand? You can't really tell that person that, oh God, look, you this have to be patient. Time, yeah. These things take time. Yeah. You said so, two things. Sorry, yeah. I'm just, I just remember that mm-hmm. one was natural. Like, the other one was ventilation. Ventilation, ventilation is uh, important. Okay. It's very important. It has to be cross or... Um, Why is it ventilation? Do you mean like I can put a fan and fan blowing? You know, it has to have natural. natural. I mentioned natural, oh, natural ventilation. ventilation. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's also orientation of how you place your houses in on your site. Mm. Um, the uh, north. These are the tips, facing, guys. These are yeah. the tips, guys. So Listen. Your, your sun rises in the east and oh. sets in the west okay. through the south. <laughs> I, have, oh, I think you have to repeat that. And, and, no, no, just say, okay. I want to close out with this, but tell us this, and then let's go. Because yeah. we've had okay. So tell it, start with uh, this. Mm. You see, it's good. I ask questions. So, mm-hmm. 
basically mm. orientation is key in your yeah, space right now irrespective key. of the size of your space yeah so the sun rises in the east and sets in, in the, the west, west through, through the, the south. south what about the north just lend it uh, what happens in the north like it just i'm, I'm talking about sun anything happens in the north when you ask what happens i'm just here like i'm not sure you want me to you answer you go south east west the north is out of it so i'm like what's yeah. happening with the north i'm talking about so if we're talking about um what <laughs> Something that is related to the north, okay, they will mention the north. Okay, right, fine. So right. sorry, mm-hmm. doesn't okay, it's not there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the sun rises in the east, mm-hmm. sets, sets in the, in the west, west through, through the, the, the so south. what does it have to what does it have to do the orientation? So think so, of it, explain like I'm five. Okay, this is north. I know south, okay, mm-hmm. east, east, west, and okay. west. Mm-hmm. If the sun goes this way, right? Uh, it's uh how do I put it now? The highest point of the sun will be around um East through the south, around the south. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. So if you're positioning your house, man, I wish I could sketch. It's hard to just say this just in, in, in the sky. <laughs> you have to figure out where the sun is at its highest. How, it's aff- how your it house. affects your house. Now, two things. One is it will affect how much cooling you need to do in the house. Okay. So for instance, if you put your living room directly where the sun is at its peak. You need this. You need more AC. AC. Oh, okay. Let's assume you need AC around the house because yeah. Nigeria AC. is relatively hot. Okay. Yeah. You understand? You will consume more power trying to mm, cool trying that to building cool because, that. I mean, the sun is coming in Heavy. through that heavily. Do okay. you understand? Okay. Yeah, but if your, um, orientation, your yeah. orientation is not necessarily facing, facing that, that, what do you think will happen? Less. Oh, yeah, okay. Do you okay, understand? Okay, okay, so, yeah, okay. that's just a basic... I mean, there are other final details. I don't want to bore you with all no, that. No, it's, it's not boring. That's just I mean, how best you can manage um, this is this is very impressive yeah. this, this thing you said is so interesting i've never heard you explain like that mm-hmm, before mm-hmm. it's really good so, because people rent houses and they don't know exactly people build, build, build and, and, they don't and they don't know so let me just know. say this yeah um architects get dragged and blamed for either buildings collapsing or poor buildings and um, I, I i rented my house my kitchen is a lobby mm-hmm. who told you an architect designed a house ah uh, so mm-hmm. not developer Developer developed it by himself. Yeah, so something that happens that is very common. Uh, let me just say I designed a house in Quara State. Okay. 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 There's a reason why I designed that house that way in Quara State. Perhaps even the client's influence, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So also that, ah, this house really fits into a yeah. 50 by 50. Ah, I have a 50 by 50. Let me, come out. Mm. Mm. Let me just go and replicate it. Copy ah, and paste. Copy and paste. Okay. And they don't know why it was built, built that, that way. way. No, okay. because, let's say, for example, snow falls in Quara, so I did the house this way, yeah, that way, that way. Yeah. You just carry and put in Lagos. Lagos that we've never seen snow before. Okay. Then mm. you start saying, ah, um, the way they did this house, my my <laughs> kitchen is a corridor. This architect is like, you know, who told you it was an architect? Okay. Mm. So let's stop blaming architects. Yeah. yeah my really next, my next question to you would mm-hmm. be, so there are not too many people like you in Nigeria, okay. at least that are on your level, okay. who have design houses for very famous people mm-hmm. so i mean where do you get inspiration from how do you how are you <laughs> able to wow them you know that's your design tough. he's been doing it for years since that's he was very... three years old no so there's there's <laughs> one thing that. to do it for years it's one thing to do it for years mm-hmm. and one do one for thing. like regular developers in Lekki, and then the it's another shots, thing to do for the big guys okay. Okay. and then they, they've seen your previous works and they're and they impressed really mm-hmm. like and they're like and okay i think i want you on this project so where do you find inspiration behind your designs. The source is mm. inbuilt. Yeah. You can't find it on Amazon. My, my dear, that, like, That's I'm, it. I'm struggling. Thank wow. you. Wow. Just like, the how do I answer this question? So, because, the source is my inspiration growth. is always uh, after the conversation. I told you that that yeah, conversation okay. is very, very important. Like, um, when I hear, so sometimes that conversation ends or gets to maybe you telling about some life experience, something okay. you liked when you were young. Mm-hmm. It's, um, it's the littlest of things. That's why that conversation is really important to me. Right. And I get to say, oh, this person really is just the relaxed and chilled kind of person. You don't want to give a person something too busy. It might be overwhelming the space mm-hmm. that you're dealing with all this drama. Mm-hmm. You know, it might just be this person is kind of like a chilled, minimalist kind of person, you know. It's always that conversation. That's where I get my inspiration well, you know, from. I ask, I ask that because a designer is... Is sort of like an artist, right? Well, yeah. Like yeah. even the greatest of artists mm-hmm. still say, "Oh, I copied. I I looked at this guy, I'm inspired and I was by. inspired by this guy. Oh, I got the idea from this guy's oh. drawing, and oh, I, okay. you know, I, I get, oh, I get, I get what you mean. Yeah, I get that's, what you that's mean. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I mean, I wouldn't deny that. Um, I research, like, okay. Okay. I look up stuff. It might not even be tied to one design. There's a uh, Pinterest, there's Google. We have all these things at our fingertips. I, I go through them daily, whether I'm working in design or not. So it could also be that some things um, I've gotten from uh, 
let me just call it some your memory you've seen yeah, something you've seen yeah, it somewhere yeah, before you know, and it's done you cannot inside, point yeah, yeah you cannot just point out that okay you know it's what it was this, this guy's design when i saw this that i picked this element or i picked the element you know oh, okay. yeah so but my basic inspiration is always from that conversation that i know that okay this person is this kind of person and um just trying to infuse that into the person's design yeah. um for instance um igalo is kind of very family oriented so his house is sprawling. It's sprawling, but he still has family areas. Okay. Bernard too is a family oriented person. His one is even interesting because you would never he's, guess. Oh, he I, is. I would never guess. Oh no, he is. Remember, I mentioned he's an open person he too. Likes yeah. to fight. No, so I, I, he likes to fight. I, I just thought no, you know. No, 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 no. I think I already so, agree, chef. I mean, he has you, his mom and sisters and his team. So how else can how how else? So you then, say you're family so, rented. Um, <laughs> something about his house too is because he's a family rented person as okay. well. His house is actually is one building under one roof, but it's two separate houses. Oh really? More or less. That's the best way to describe it. Okay. So there's a part of the house that look, you want to see Damini Ogulu. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. where you're going. You want to see Burner Boy. This is where you're going. Yeah. Oh, so the yes. Burner Boy part in quote is where you have the recording studio. Oh, okay. You have lounge. You have um. Rooms where artists, like artists boys can area. stay, yeah, I, I did. Boys, boys area, and there's yeah. games yeah. area there. Yeah. There's access to the gym as well from there, you know, and it overlooks the pool, all that stuff. So, yeah, there's that separation. And like I said, because of the conversation with um, him and his representative, which was his mother, his manager oh, okay. at the time, there was a lot of knowing the individual. Mm-hmm. Okay. There are not many. I haven't designed anybody's house that I had to detach two pieces, but are still under one roof. Mm. I don't know if that makes sense. I know what you mean. Yeah, okay. so he's one individual, but he just has like he's two separate. He has compartmentalized two, yeah. two lives. separate oh, okay. lives, life called lives. Lives, that's, well, not lives. That's what I don't know what to call it. Yeah, I, I guess, get what I mean. You know how like Beyonce and Sasha Fierce, so I guess like yeah. I, I get. Yeah. Yes, I yeah, know okay, what you mean. You can mean. use that. Yes, that you can use kind of thing. Yeah, that's that's. So I'm just getting something from this. Yeah, I mean, it appears as people get more successful. they want to have family around. Well, but on the sense. way of people are scared of village people. But when they're up <laughs> there, they someone, call them someone has people. four guest but, bedrooms. I'm ah. like, wow. It may not be from village oh, wait, hold now. on. The four guest bedrooms is not, is not where his family members are staying. No. He has a different area yes. family for members. family members. So, so he had another two or three bedrooms. Maybe I didn't break down that house to you. His, that house was something. So he had four guest bedrooms. Had a four-car garage. Had a main living. Had a secondary living. I'm just trying to go by a kitchen. Four room BQ, two room BQ. Oh. Um, private cinema, private office, uh, gym oh. of course. Mm. Um, games area. You have a football pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I mean, of course. Yes, yes, sorry, I mean, I forgot about yeah. that. That's really yeah. well, that, that, that's, <laughs> I mean, it's a no brainer. Like, yeah. So you know, all I've got from this conversation now is generally celebrities <clears throat> love space. Mm-hmm. Yep. You need to also, you know, consider like their style. Yeah, but they have like individual elements that are really important mm-hmm. to them, and mm-hmm. I find, and this is really good. So, listeners, like if you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to put up your own space, you need to also try and infuse some of yourself into the space. Exactly, it's very exactly. important. So, when you talk about ventilation, natural light, orientation of the sun at the tires, oh, yeah. you need to also really think that. about what what part of myself do I want to put in mm-hmm. this space mm-hmm. all the time, whether it's rented, whether I built it from the ground up, something mm-hmm. to consider. Mm-hmm. So, in that, um, on that note. No, I, I think want... I still want to ask him something. <laughs> Do you? Yes, I still, I still, I'm not done. I mean, this is someone who is, I mean, design house for Igalo, for Bonner Boy. What kind of relationship do you have with these guys, like, uh, post-execution? Uh, no, my client relations. Yeah. Yeah. Give me their work, give me right. your brother now. No, but I, 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 um, like, the way they say, is it after sales service? Yeah. 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 But you still build a relationship with them, but it's not like I'm going to pick up the phone and be like, hey, how Gemma. fun now? <laughs> Give me tickets. Yeah, of course, I they don't have the time for that. There's no, there's no time. No. We just have a cordial relationship. Work relationship. Yeah. Right. I mean, so, it's a professional. I also want to believe that we would have, you know, young architects who are watching this video right now. So for sure. a young person who's dream whose aspiration is to someday mm-hmm. you know be where you are designing homes for some of the most popular people in the country mm-hmm. or even within the continent mm-hmm. how would you advise that they, they go about you know penetrating that very closed circle like she calls them the one percent of the one percent and there's no um one size fits all okay so um what worked for me might not work for you or any other person but the one key thing i'll say is consistency Okay. Whatever you find yourself doing, consistency. Just, just, yeah. do just be consistent. Okay. That's that's what um I would say. And then give room for 
for growth. Don't be stuck in, oh, this is how I do it, so this is how yeah. I do it. No? Okay. Be open to exploring new ideas. Be open to um, collaborating with people. Yeah, that mm -hmm. helps as well. So, yeah. Okay, so that's, that's consistent collaboration. Consistency, yeah. consistency okay. is very, Thank very, you. very key. Okay, Ben, can we go now? Because <laughs> you had us, you had us sure at gone point. It's like, <laughs> sure, we can. Brenner's architect, aka Akose. Yeah. There's no roll your Hold eyes on. because, no, okay, okay. I'm not Brenner's architect. You did it, has I, though. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so. Tying you me to Brenner, no. Okay, great. Okay. So, the celebrity. I'm an architect. Yeah. But, okay, you don't want to be like, you know how I put like, I'm a celebrity doctor? So, yes. um, I won't even lie to you. After the first one or two celebrity um, houses I did, I was. Carrying that tag, my chest, celebrity architect. Okay, so my friends have started it. I didn't really apply <laughs> into it. But after a while, I realized that um, I think it's brand. kind of unfair. So to, you're that close to class. Yes. I mean, That's so right. there are people that I have done houses for that are richer than some celebrities. <clears throat> yeah. And That's there are fair. people that are not as rich as some celebrities. Yeah. Are you saying that they, they, they do don't deserve, shouldn't tag yeah. them? Okay, they fair, don't deserve fair. to all right, okay. have their houses designed by me. Shout to all your clients, okay. <laughs> yeah, shout out to all of them. I rate all of you. You guys should not fight. All of you are important. <laughs> oh my Thank God. you so much Thank for coming you. on the broadcast. So, so I've Thank learned you. so much. Like yeah. let me tell you. geography, we learned that thing about the sun. Lighting, we learned. I can't even wait to go them as one or two. Like, why is the sun facing? Because maybe that's why like, it's is always on. Yeah, you dropped some gems today. Thank, thank you so, so much. Thank, thank you so much. Have a great thank time. To so our listeners you. at home, I hope you've learned one or two things, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now.